Hello and welcome to episode 40 of my Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker playthrough. A fresh hot cup of tea, we have done our Aetherite quests, and Grahatia has something for us to do. An unspecified task awaits us. Uh, in the event, ours, and I quote, promising heap of adamantite falls right out. Uh, in the event that ours, and I quote, promised heap of anamitite falls right out of the bloody sky into my lap, Master uh, Kyokeo um, wishes to be ready to put the proverbial hammer to the anvil at a moment's notice. Uh, to fabricate these parts, however, he needs the flames of he needs the flames in Kyokar's forge uh, to burn hotter. Uh, he sent me to increase the amount of aether being funneled to his furnace. Uh, the flow of fire aether, our fire aspected aether in Labyrinthos, is regulated by an elemental reactor south of here, uh, which I, or to which I have borrowed the key. Uh, the adjustments will require two people to carry out safely, but I can explain the process when we arrive. This is where we part ways, then. Um, I'll see you in Charlian Hamlet once the Adamantite arrives. Uh, if not before. Ugh, oh indeed. It's been a long day. It hasn't been a long day. I think I've only recorded five episodes. Same as yesterday. But I do still need to get four encoded, so this is, last, this is the last one today. The only reason I need to get them encoded is to free up disk space on my recording drive. I theoretically could start moving things around. I have storage space elsewhere. But if I can just like, get rid of most of the episodes because I've already done them and they're just waiting to be uploaded. Speaking of which, I forgot to get... How's my last upload going? Last upload is done. I better start a new one. One sec. Upload. Video. 14 by 9, episode 26. Schedule it. For... I believe this one wants to go up on the 31st. I may have got that wrong. It may actually want to be up on the 1st. In which case I may have to immediately change it, which is easy enough to do. Uh, no, it does want to be the 1st. Okay, this way then. Map. So yeah, all Aether currents done. Just waiting for the quest one. Uh, the reactor is housed within this facility. Uh, I'll be the one to go inside and adjust the uh, adjust the fire ether output. Uh, when I do, a rather large amount of water aspected ether uh, will issue will issue from the vent at the top. I expect this is to attract, uh, or I expect this to attract at least a few elementals, uh, which we would both rather not be drawn into the reactor itself, trust me. Uh, can I ask you to put down any that draw too near uh, that pose, uh, they'll pose you a little trouble I'm sure. Wait here, if you would. Uh, did everything go smoothly out here? I thought as much. No major complication or complications uh, to speak of inside either. Uh, 
and the water ether appears to be venting properly. Uh, I expect um, Kyo Kyo uh, will have seen a difference in his forge's flames by, by the time I return. Uh, since, he, uh, since I have you, there was another matter I thought to discuss with you. Nothing terribly important, merely something I've been considering. Uh, part of this I shared with everyone, um, yet you and you alone uh, have, uh, yet you and you alone have been to Elpis. As we have established, the fine adamantite is the product of Alec, uh, one of the empire's um, of the empire's twilight years. In fact, it was a material which saw much use as parts of Alagan efforts to extend beyond the bounds of this world, Dalamud, of course, being the most prominent. Of those who would push f further, uh, expand Alag's, uh, Alag's empire to encompass the heavens and the stars above, perhaps the greatest, um, perhaps the greatest was the infamous technologist Armon. Armon wanted to travel uh, to the Sea of Stars? Did he remember his life as Hermes? I believe that he had his own reasons. Uh, there is no evidence to suggest that he retained memories of his former life. He only joined the Asians once the Empire was all but dust, as you know. If not his memories, though, what drove him to pursue the idea of such, with such f uh, fervour? This may seem far-fetched, but what if souls, like minds, have a personality, so to speak, uh, a natural disposition towards which they are inclined? We know with relative certainty that it was a gross, de or a gross descendant, uh, an inexcorrigible... Let me try this again. We know with relative certainty it was the gross... Um, decadence and uh, incorrigible I think that's wrong uh, decline of Alec that moved Armon to resurrect um, Emperor Zande the Emperor's people spoke lightly of death and destruction experimenting on those they deemed beneath them to fill their emptiness or to fill the emptiness in their hearts this facilitate, facilitating Zande's return, Armon provided those languished souls with a means to free themselves uh, from the myriad of their own indolence. Or would have, uh, had not Zande been convinced by his own death that life itself was meaningless. Armon's desire for his countrymen to conquer the heavens could only be a means to the same end to instill the people with new purpose. Like Hermes before him, Armon was appalled with how those around him lived, uh, but, he couldn't, uh, but, he, but he could never bring himself to believe that those lies were devoid of meaning. And both of them sought that meaning, that hope in the distant stars. Such is my theory, anyway. Ultimately, it is the consequence of their actions which matter. Their motives are no, uh, of no moment. And yet, to reach those stars on wings of adamanti, uh, adamantite, uh, to travel the or travel to the end of creation and beyond, uh, the promise of hope everlasting. That much I do understand. But enough musing for now. Why don't we see how uh, Kikolol is getting on? Ki? Where's the A? Uh, Kokol. Or Kokol? Hopefully it'll be pronounced again soon. Oh, we apparently have not been to the Logisticon Gamma. Still need to go down there. 
or fly over it at least. I imagine the latter is the correct option. Though I did brief um, uh, Kokol on the, find, on the find Adamantine's history, uh, I only volunteered to go to the reactor because I was finished and there was little else to do. Hopefully that dispels any mis uh, mis uh, misapprehensions that I was kicked out for prattling on. Phew, I can feel those flames are blazing from here. Uh, glad you found someone capable, Graha. Uh, but there's not much left for you lot to do. Uh, unless you can conjure up that refined adamantite any faster. And you ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Called it. I do trust your delivery to be... Uh, uh, I do trust you to deliver on your promise. I do. Only... I hate waiting! I want the adamantite and I want it now! Uh, shall we, uh, we share in your, your impatience, I assure you. Um, it is true, nothing... Uh, is there truly nothing else we can assist you with in the meantime? I wish. Uh, they're sitting about some bearable. Pity the fallen frowns and recreational explosions. Well, as long as, uh, as, long as they can't prove it was premeditated, um, get yours gone. Uh, I have mistakes to make. <laughs> I'll read that again because that sentence is worth reading properly. Well, so long as they can't prove it was premeditated, get yours gone. I have mistakes to make. In that case, I suppose I should go and return the key to the reactor. Uh, I have one more look. Uh, I'll have one more look to make sure that nothing uh, has gone wrong, unintentionally or otherwise. I'm certain there are better uses of your time, however. Uh, I will join you in Char uh, Charlie and Hamlet anon. What are you going to blow up? Ain't smoke rising from the building behind me. Um, any smoke rising from the building behind me will be entirely unrelated to, um, to what I didn't say. Got it? He's going to blow things up. <laughs> Or fire up a um, rocket more, uh, potentially. If you wait here, your companions are bound to turn up sooner or later. Await your companions. I drink my tea while we wait. set I take it pretty much we finished what we could delivered supplies tracked down escaped animals trivial tasks as they may be that's enough don't you think if there was anything more important still undone that would be a problem in itself the vessel is essentially ready for departure. All that remains is to load the final batch of supplies and see everyone on board. Once we've readied the ether burner, that is. Ah, had a feeling we might find you all here. Our consultations with the Loperets, too, have run their course. Pleased I am to say that our researchers' concerns have for the most part been allayed though some insist on making adjustments to the very end. For their part, Living Way and her peers have graciously offered to stay and keep the people company, lest any lingering queries go unanswered. All that remains is to wait for the refined adamantite. Alphano, are you there? It's me, Cryo. Your special delivery has arrived. Round up everyone and come to the harbor at once. Speak of the devil. Let us go at once.
Forgive the intrusion, Master Fortuna. I bring urgent news. A great commotion has broken out in Scholar's Harbor. Your presence is requested with all speed. The sheer number of people bringing the sheer amount of relics and um, whatnot. Now, where might this delivery be? Come on, say Garland bought it. Oh. Oh, we got a lot. I'm sure it's very important, but we cannot accept these without the proper permits. By the Twelve? Surely. These can't all be. More yet come. Oh, hi there. Been a while. Sky Pirates. Bleeding hellfire. They're bringing them by sea and by air. All these folks in these crates. And more on the way. Got your adamantite right here. A bigger haul than any of these sorry bastards brought, and that's no lie. Yes, because you were charged with seeing the shipments from Gridania and Uldar here, along with your own. Give credit where credit is due. Sounds like the sorry whinging of a sore loser. An hypocrite to boot. Ain't no way a scrawny whelp like you took a dozen steps inside a Dalaman shard. I'll have you know I went all the way to the entrance. And furthermore, it was my contacts that enabled us to enlist the cooperation of the Sky Pirates. Left you outside so you wouldn't get anyone killed, did they? Well then, credit where <laughs> credit's due, you did a right fine job sitting on your ass. <laughs> he has his number. Take that back. Make me. I will not stoop to your level. My, what a grand welcome party. Hancock and Saraban. We come bearing relics both sacred and elegant, as well as a few other gifts that may be of help, to be presented with best wishes from the Eastern Alliance. Our friends in Bosnia, for instance, have sent along a few artifacts for the brave allies of the Resistance. That's you. And we brought a number of items from Eureka as well, courtesy of one Ejika Sunjika. He says a little advance warning would have been appreciated by the by. I myself have come with a sacred relic of race and temple. Twas passing fortunate that Senri's dango craving brought us to Kugane. We arrived precisely as Hancock was making his arrangements. Upon learning of your need, we made haste back to Hell's Lid, with our Dango, never fear, and consulted with the other auspices. All consented to the lending of Tenzin's legendary Phoenix Blade for this noble cause. Suzaku and Seiryu were nevertheless worried that it might be lost in transit, however, and insisted upon accompanying me to Onakoro where I had intended to entrust it to our confederate allies. I thought instead to give it over to Hancock when we chanced to cross paths yet again. But alas, Seiryu remained ill at ease and ordered me see the blade into your hands personally or die trying. We did, of course, need quite the impressive vessel to get it all here in time. Oh, that's why I recognize it. That's the theater company ship. Fortunately, our majestic associates have been more than helpful. 
Tis an honor to join the Warrior of Light on another adventure, they tell me. That is all wonderful to hear, but what of the extraordinary cost? I shudder to think of the ransom we must pay for such a bounty. <laughs> Fret not for your coin purse, young Alphano. Lord Lollarito looks ever towards the profits of the future, and thus the East Aldenar Trading Company went to some lengths to reduce the financial liability. And since the Scions funded the entire venture, not a gill need be rendered up in compensation. Everything is already yours. We funded the venture? When? <laughs> Don't let the name fool you. This coin keeper knows a thing or two about spending. When it comes to capital investiture, a sprinkling of gill here and there will not do. You need enough savings to make waves when it really counts, which is why frugality is paramount. We also have the benefit of a generous patron. Generous being rather an understatement. She has supported us from the shadows since the very founding of the Scions. Eh, we even had coffers to fill. <laughs> Mother! A million. <laughs> she did say as much. I remain, of course, an entirely neutral party. I simply thought our family's coffers were needlessly full. We can hardly take them with us on your teeny tiny toy boat, now can we? And would be a shame to leave all that hard-earned wealth unspent. Waste, Waste not! not. However did you manage so much in so short a time, though? We expected word to reach only a fraction of our allies. Did I not tell you I have my ways? Erendil, you were involved too. All of the gleaners were. I received the letter from Cryo after we parted ways in Labyrinthos. At a bet. She explained what the science were trying to accomplish, and why you might soon require the services of the cleaners, spread across the world as we are. I pray you do not interpret this as a betrayal of Charlotte. I accept that the form's aim in pushing us to our limits was to preserve what knowledge we have, and I bear you no ill will for it. Yet, in collecting that knowledge, what I came to appreciate most about our star is that there remains so much we do not know. That is why I chose to help the Scions, to combat the obliteration of those countless, undiscovered wonders. I held no illusions that they would be less demanding taskmasters. Though, rest assured, if I had, I would have been sorely disappointed. To make a long story short, the whole of the guildship cooperated to ensure your call was heard far and wide. There he is. There's the other one. There's Nero. Wait, Alpha. What's this about a ship that can fly to the moon? And why didn't you mention it sooner? The one time you don't beg my aid, your problem's a bloody ship that can fly to the moon. See it? You brought the team. How did they find out? Of course. Garland Ironworks finest. You need only point us towards my new favorite ship. Oh, I nearly forgot. We stopped by Whirlit before coming here and picked up a package from Gaius. He's still of the mind that actions make for better penance than words, contrite or otherwise. So we offer none of the latter.
What he sent is an Allegan relic Valens used in his weapons experiments. Has a fair bit of refined adamantite in it too. As you like as not suspect, we've also brought adamantite for Mordona's Dalamud shard. I admit to some consternation upon first receiving Kral's message. So few scions remain at the Rising Stones now, far too few for such an expedition. However, the Gleaners were able to secure us reinforcements. Idlesha's treasure hunters, not least among them. I oh, know. Ah, the gobby flock fought. Slowfix's gratitude for the safe return of his daughter has not waned, and he gathered his kin to our side with an astounding quickness. Slowfix all talk. I think that's the right name. I think it's all talk. The clash between their machina and the elegant defences was a sight to behold. I wager, even you would have been impressed by the magnitude of the gobby boons. Fascinating as all this is, I fail to see how it explains your presence here. Does Wells at Han not have more pressing concerns? We do. Yet averting the final days would be the most expedient solution. That, and I am indebted to you. Though they chose to take their leave of Thavner, those you saved in Galimund remain my people. My gratitude is beyond words. It is appropriate that I aid you in kind. If in the doing we bring salvation to others of this star, so much the better. You will recall that I spoke of my father, Midgard Sumer, and his journey across the great expanse. As he traveled betwixt the stars, his resplendent scales drank of the ether in those nigh empty surrounds and imparted to him the strength to persevere. Thinking they might further your cause, I called out to my kin for consent. Ashdaya's answer was silence, as ever. That's the one dragon that we don't know the location of. Tiamat and Chris Velgre, however, responded favorably to the suggestion. My sire, too, stirred from his slumber long enough to speak and say, Very well. Thus have I brought you his own worm scales. Fit them to your purpose, and seek a worthier fate for us all. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone else so familiar with the unique properties of Dragon's Hills. So I invited myself. Fucking me, this is so unbelievable. I've gone right back round to believing it again. <laughs> Forget a 6% gain in efficiency. Of all these goodies, we could get 7, no? 10, no? 14 bleeding percent. <gasps> Think of how far we could go. What we could do with that much power. What we could blow up. <laughs> if Kokol is duly convinced, then it must be true. In which case, the science end of the bargain has been fulfilled. Would you not agree? Yes, father? I know not what you seek of Heidelin, nor for what purpose you would take command of our ship. 
Yet this much is certain. To do so will be to dictate the fate of this star and the lives upon it. The lives of each and every creature, in their magnitude and their fragility. Do you understand? And are you prepared? Are you willing to take or accept such a burden? Do you actually understand its true weight? We have seen and we have felt how much each life shapes this world. And so we are determined to abandon none. We understand what is at stake. And we are prepared to bear this burden. <sighs> then I... I will bear it with you. I beg you, share your struggles with me, as family. You grasped my fingers with such tiny hands the day you were born. I thought my heart might burst. It was love and happiness beyond expression. Overwhelming. And a conviction so powerful that I trembled with something close to rage. I had heard the final days foretold. I swore to myself then and there that I would not let them steal your futures. Great Exodus would succeed, must succeed. No sacrifice or sin was worse than the alternative. If anything gave me pause, it was mine own father. The Archon Louisois openly decried Charlien's policies, a perspective which I regarded with increasing disdain as I grew older. Yet even as part of me thought him a fool, perhaps I also hoped that he, of all people, would devise a brilliant means to save my children. A naive hope, but stubborn enough that I could never bring myself to keep you apart. No, that was his doing when he perished at Cartano. As we pulled that twisted slab of Dalamud from the sea, I remembered the warmth of your newborn touch. Chastened, I vowed never again to suffer any interference in my mission to protect you. No matter that you yourselves wished otherwise. Detest me, fight me tooth and nail, I would suffer it, and more, and be satisfied so long as I could force you onto the ship. <laughs> I was wrong. You two have grown so much stronger and so much wiser than I dared dream. You have earned the right to walk your own path. And already begun to do so. Good. Because there are things we care about. And people we love. And none of them is replaceable. Not a one. It cannot have been an easy journey for you to have come so far. We shall be glad to acquaint you with the finer details someday, once this danger has passed. All that we have seen and heard, that we have felt and learned in our travels. Ours is not a kind world, but it is beautiful. Always. Oh no. Are you quite sure that's wise? After all, someone 
turns pale and flees the room when he sees so much as an envelope containing word of your adventures. <laughs> Whatever will happen if he learns what you were really up to. A millions. <laughs> Though I have wronged my children most gravely, I owe you an apology as well. I assumed that it was the Scion's influence that made them so keen to charge headlong into danger. Yours, in particular. I see now that said influence instead brought them together with the many fine people gathered here today. In which case, I hope you continue to guide them. If we finish loitering about the harbor, might I suggest we put our plans into motion? People are beginning to look confused. Perhaps you can spare a few words ere they resume the tedious lugging of cargo. You have no small number of friends and admirers here, after all. What choices of words will we be given? So I, I just punched my headphones. Well, I'm scratching the back of my head. All perfectly good and viable choices. Which is more me? The top one. Lenders your strength. Your assistance is appreciated. Now, in an orderly fashion, if you please. Okay, they've all gone. We've not been given the opportunity to talk to every last one of them, which is probably for the best because I would try. Uh, the time or the time has come to claim our prize. Are you prepared? Uh, at least send or sent a letter along with the Garlemald contribution. Um, it seems she travelled there to aid their adamantine recovery. Evidently, journey into Gradania. Did I say the Garlean? Um, Gradania was quite the trial. Uh, as was getting to the Dalamud shard. Uh, as was reaching its depths. I suspect you will have a few kind words to say about the Allegans when next we meet. If I never see another crate again, it'll be too soon. Unaided, we scions could never ga or could never have gathered such a bounty. Refined adamantite, relics sacred and ancient alike. I find myself quite overcome. I cannot wait to see what our friends from the ironworks will do with the ship. Neither can I. I can't wait to hear Nero say something to Sid. I had no idea how massive a weight it was until he lifted it off my shoulders. But more importantly, his words were an affirmation that the path we walk is the right one. A part of me might have been satisfied so long as my family and friends survived the final days. But to save this star uh, is what we all want most. And if these people, or if these same people believe that I can see it done, then who am I to say otherwise? Come what may, I will fight for this world uh, and ours to the end. This world of ours to the end. Cough. My throat hurts from directing so many people to labyrinthos. Um, but that only proves um, we've got our money's worth. I apologise for not informing you earlier of Erinbel's uh, involvement. 
Uh, he was something of a contingency plan. Thank goodness we had him in his fellow gleaners to hand, though. It would have brought. Uh, it would have been a monstrously difficult. It would have been monstrously difficult to locate Sid and transport the Harnish delegation here. Otherwise, we finally managed to clear the harbour, which means the rest uh, is in the engineer's capable hands. Meanwhile, Father has issued us an invitation. Uh, as was agreed, uh, he will reveal, reveal the means by which Heidlin may be contacted. We are to meet him at the Apora uh, when we are ready. Uh, given the vital knowledge she holds, I suggest we leave without delay. Uh, it transpires, however, that the forum's method for speaking with her is not without risk. I am curious to hear what the, uh, those means entail, but regardless, be warned. Most of those who arrived with the Adamantite have offered to stay and see to any remaining tasks that need doing. The forum has already asked uh, for my assistance in overseeing the passi uh, uh, process, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Tataru. Uh, off to the Apora then. Is that on this map? No, it is in Labyrinth, of Nathan, I have already shown the others inside. Um, you will want to speak with Clarence. She has the key to the lift and can send you down after him. This is the thing they were looking at earlier, so what's underneath here? Uh, you're with Master Fortuno? Yes, uh, just step inside the lift here. Ah, we're quite literally down in the centre now. From here we proceed to the heart of Labyrinthos, and its most certain... Uh, and its most cer most closely guarded secret. Thorma Zane. Uh, it marks the beginning and end of our efforts, whence we delivered to seek an audience with the star, and whence we embarked on our journey to the heavens. This way, if you please. So what is hidden underneath this structure? a glimpse of it but my mind didn't have time to process it. Ah, this must be the ship. It does look very Charlian. I bid you welcome to the Thormazane. Uh, direct your attention towards its centre and behold the Ark over which we have long laboured. As you can see, it was designed as a medium sized craft um, to better reduce fuel consumption. Uh, Miniaturising magics have been applied to the interior to ensure that the thrust to weight ratio does not place too great a limitation. Uh, on its freight capacity. Okay, so um, it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> I was looking at it and I thought, perspective-wise, that is bigger than it appears, but that still seems rather small to be able to rescue and transport everything up to the moon without thousands upon thousands of trips. Uh, the ether burner, as you know, has been removed for further, modifica or further modifications, but we shall reattach it soon enough. I've received word from uh, word that 
Kokol and several of your allies are working on it uh, with an intense fervor. They are sure to see it done. Uh, Twas by their exp uh, experience that many a prior disaster was averted. If anything, I fear they will not afford as much time with speaking to Heidelin ere they finish. Point taken. Let's move on. Uh, I must warn. Uh, I must warn you again, however, that it is not, or that even with the benefit of our device, to treat with her is not a simple feat. I doubt this is what Ehrenveld meant when he said that the, the uh, that there remained much we don't know. Uh, but I still believe everything. But I can't still believe everything was hidden underneath the city this entire time. Uh, it was the Anagans who first combined the mechanics and ethereal sciences uh, into revolutionary discipline. Uh, given that this ship is nothing short of a technological marvel. In that precise vein, Alagon Salvage. Uh, in that precise vein, Alagon Sal Salvage should shoot it well. The words. It would seem enchantments most advanced have been woven into the ship's very bones. Um. Wilson, I, I, I cannot remember how they were pronounced, and I'm, I'm not going to do them the disservice of getting it wrong. Uh, were doubtlessly called upon uh, for their expertise in teleportation magics. You feel it too, don't you? The ship is impressive, but it pales in comparison to a vast primordial power beneath our feet. We must learn of Hydaelyn's greater plan. Uh, we can only hope that she also knows the current location of Meteor, and we can do no, and we can do neither if we do not focus on whatever trial awaits us within. If meeting Hydaelyn proves difficult, uh, even for the Forum, then perhaps I. Oh, uh, tis, an, uh, tis an unformed idea of this phase, I'm afraid. Uh, I will duly inform you if anything comes of it. To think how many genera uh, generations laboured for, for this end, and that we may aim higher still. Uh, we must spare no preparations, and that means speaking with Heidelin, no matter the cost. I can well imagine the zeal with which they're working on the afterbur Aether burner. Uh, and after all, I can. S oh, that's why people are coming here. They are probably coming here because they're using the ship to get to the final map. I couldn't figure out why people were coming down here when this appeared to be the only reason to be here. Uh, all I can say is that I am glad that we have something to do uh, other than get in their way. Uh, once it's ready, we'll see to it that the ship is put to good use. Uh, I have done what I can. Im oh, I have done what I can to impress upon you the gravity of what lies ahead. Are you prepared? Hey, we have flight. Not that it is of any use to us currently, and given the time, I cannot make use of it even now. I must get encoding or editing so I can get the encoding ready. So, with this pretty thing as backdrop, thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, both for you and for me, we shall see what we can get out of Hydaelyn. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheerio!